Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I'll be making a video on how to play Clash Laws 2 free to play. Now this video isn't going to be seriously in depth. I've got lots of videos to do with free to play techniques, setups, heroes, blah blah all that stuff yeah. Um, I've got a playlist called Clash Laws 2 free to play guide, I'm not sure what I call it. But I'm sure you'll find it on the channel, Clash Wars 2 free to play playlist. And it's full of all my free to play videos. But I thought it's about time that I make just one video giving a rundown of just how to free to play Clash Wars 2. Going through all the stuff, not in serious detail, but enough to get, say, a beginner on track or someone who isn't entirely sure what they're doing. So it'd be able to get you on track. So that you know what you're doing, what you're looking for. Then from this video, you might even have a better idea than if you go to watch other free to play videos of mine and know exactly what you're looking for. So I'm going to start off by going, what do you want to do straight away as a free to play in Clash Wars 2? You free to play, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what heroes to go for, what heroes are free to play, what aren't, what do I do? Well, tell you what now, pay to play, pay to play. Pay to play, pay to play. That one is pay to play unless you manage to get it in a return offer, which I doubt you will unless you've been serious enough. Yet. Pyrule is the latest hero to become free to play viable. I wouldn't entirely say, I wouldn't say she's easy. She's probably the hardest hero now, free to play to enlighten, but you can do it. Um, how do you get Pyrule enlightened as a free to play? Well, by doing the 5 times 10 higher, you can get a want. You give it every week and you just get a few pyros to get up a glory, and then you can get shards for her involvement. How else can you get a shard? Then now you can get her from the Alchemy Workshop. So that's what I'm doing right now, getting a shard. Um, Chaos Ember is also in there, which is an interesting one, but he's not a very good hero in my opinion, so I wouldn't call it worth it. But if you are free to play and you don't really know what to do, what hero should you go for as a free to play? Your number one hero to go for as a free to play player will be Pemphysilia. That is a must. You have to get a Pemphysilia. I don't care if you're free to play or pay to play, you have to get a Pemphysilia. She's probably the most important hero in the game to get. Yeah, She is the most important hero in the game. Why? Well, even if you're free to play, which is what this video is about, um, she's seriously good and easy to enlighten because in hero arena she can one shot the hero arena every time no matter what doesn't matter if you're versing fully max enlightened heroes don't care if you're versing number one in your server you are still beat them using Pemphysilia in hero arena because she will one shot the hero arena building which will win the match how do you one shot? she needs level 5 divine which is level 22 enlightenment now if you don't have that um, there's also another way around once you get level 3 divine on her which is pretty much Pisces, yeah, and in, in that in the involvement. Um, that will then allow you to probably take about half of the hero arena health off, maybe a little bit more. You might want to put a Renny Van with her. Renny Van can bring back Divines. It'll bring back Pemphysilia's Divine and allow her to get a second hit on it. So that is a free to play technique. That one is a massively free to play technique, really. That's what a lot of players use. I used it myself to before I got my Pemphysilia to level 5 Divine, which I only got her to it recently. Before that, I was using my Renny Van to bring back a Divine twice to finish it. So that's a technique to use. Why is it so important to be able to win Hero Arena? Well, you want to be able to win Hero Arena because if you can start beating Hero Arena, no problem. Every single two weeks, it resets the rewards means that you get all these rewards yeah man, all them every two weeks all of them and by getting that you get lots of resources now to be able to get lots of resources easy like that will then allow you to be able to and evolve and alight and other heroes much quicker and easier because you're getting your resources quicker I'm not going to say it's going to be really easy to alight and evolve them it's not but it's going to allow you to be able to get resources quicker and easier. Yeah. Now, what he, what else can Pemphysilia do? 
She's good in all game modes, good in a lot of formations. She can one shot HM Volley, then that'll allow you to be able to buy stuff from the shop. I would advise saving up your mythic orbs, is that what it's called? I've played this game long enough, I shouldn't have. Then um, it's called. and I still don't know. Um, we can't see still. So, uh, here are Mystic Crystals, that's what I'm talking about. Then these Mystic Crystals, I would advise if you haven't already, use them to go to spell learning and number one priority is max out your Allied Ranger, max them all out completely. That is a good, still a very good spell to use during battles because it equals attack boost plus 40%, edge discount plus 65%, targets 22 and attack rate boost is 70%. Spell area is 11 and duration is 8.5 seconds max time. Now it's still very good in battles and I can say it's OP but it's still very good and it can help you. So, and then after that you want to try and max all the spell edges. Once you've done that, it'll take a long time, it took me a long time. I now actually end up buying Glee Forbes with them, the Mystic Resource, so it's still very useful. So what else you want to do as a free to play? You want to try and get the solo campaign finished. It should be easy enough, seeing as it's like you can complete it within a week now, almost, I'd reckon. I reckon you would be able to, so it should be easy for you guys. Um, once you get to level 1 to 10, then you just want to do your 5 auto clears a day, or even more if you can, and just get the mugs and some other stuff on it. Auto raids, always do it, just get your goal and your XP, that'll allow you to get some card experience and stuff. Every single little resource counts at the end of the day. The resource counts, so you want to keep that in mind. Now, once you got Pemsel, you're finished. You're finished. What hero to work on next? I would advise getting an enchantress. Why enchantress? She's a very viable hero, she's easy to evolve, easy to enlighten. You can get evolution references for her, evol her evolvement quite easily in Vision, no, not Vision Tree, sorry, Secret Vault and Lord's Come Vault, so it's easy. Pemphysilia is too, but I think she's slightly harder to get evolution essences for than Enchantress currently. It is still both pretty fairly easy to get essences for. <laughs> The enchantment is very easy to get off here, yeah? so you're going to want to get her. She's even good, a lot of paid to play players that all use her because she's just so good in formations. She can heal, she can revive, good hero always, and she can actually do some decent damage as well, you know. So, good hero. So now, your number three hero, who do you want your third hero? I would personally advise getting a Zidorm Rider in there. Um, just a good hero, good damage dealer. He can summon heroes or even the FRG boss if you're lucky. And just a very good hero. Now, your fourth one um, is an argument between X and Pyro. I personally would say get Pyro. The reason why, I'm going to give my reason in now for the people who want to argue it. Pyro, even before she's enlightened, she can be a very good hero. If you get Pisces on her, yeah, and she's not enlightened. She'll still be very good damage to you, still a very good hero. Whereas Exafan, he only really becomes a good hero once he's max enlightened. A lot of free to play players won't really be able to max enlighten him until a long time. So that's the reason why I said Pyro first, because she is good even without enlightenment. Exafan, you need to max enlighten to even have him good, to be honest with you. As I say, you want Exafan as your fifth hero, yeah? As your fifth hero. Um, you sit a hero if you want a spare one on the sideline. Who would be a sideline hero? Renny Van. Um, Ray, who is number one on the Android English 2 server. I put him down as best player in the world, in my opinion. Um, he says that Renny Van is best hero in the game. This is his opinion. He says it's just so overpowered. To be able to bring back two divines and bring two heroes back to life with active skill is just great. And if you put Holy Ammo on her, you might even be able to get a divine back to bring about four divines at all. So, really good hit. But I don't put her in, in the main five. And the reason for that is because she, in my opinion, is one of the heroes that you pull out for certain situations. She she is a situational hero. I haven't called on a brawler, though. I've just been playing brawl stars, I guess, so if I haven't called on a brawler, <laughs> I suppose I just played brawl stars. Um, heroes, I mean. Um, 
so that's the heroes covered. Now, if you're looking at aid heroes, what aid heroes should you put in your heroes? Um, straight on, I'm going to tell you, Enchantress and Berserker are musts. You have to have them. Level 9 aid skills on a Berserker and Enchantress are fantastic, great, right? yeah, you need it. Uh, good in all game modes, that's the reason why I say it. Berserker will stop them from... Well, for one second, damage dealt to the deployed hero can exceed 15% of its max HP, which means that it basically gives them an extra second of life, and that doesn't sound that much, but it can make all the difference sometimes, so keep that in mind. Whereas Enchantress is also very good, dispels all negative statuses once and restores 80,000 HP when he was HP falls below 20%, 40%, 60%, and 8%. Figures once per threshold, so basically. It gives them more health once they drop down to end percentages, so very good. Now with the third one, it, I personally put that one down myself as the game mode specific one. There's enchantments and berserk you can use in all. Um, as a free to play you won't be able to get really good aid heroes for all game modes, yeah? You're going to want to concentrate on just getting main free for each hero, yeah? So the third one I count as the game mode specific one. So for Arena, as you can see, I've actually got an Ironclad in there sometimes. I've got Ironclad in there because he's he can um, increase the damage dealt to buildings. Of course, Hero Arena, you try and take down the Hero Arena building, he can help you take it down a lot easier. So that's the reason why I got down there. So base Z is probably, yeah, base Z there. And Battle Royal, Sapphix is very good in it because of that. But if you want to learn more about eight heroes, go and watch my eight hero videos. Well, I've already known the main ones of the free to play players. Now, I'm going to cover some more of free to play. I've covered heroes, aid heroes, um, how to get shards for your heroes. Alchemy Workshop is very good to get shards. Um, as a free to play, you're going to want need to get powder to be able to do it. Um, to get powder, I would personally, um, I think you should watch actually one of my videos that came out about a week or so ago on what heroes to farm and what heroes to get rid of. That was two different videos. Um, where I basically explained what to do with heroes that you're getting rid of. So um, just to make it simple right now I'm just going to say heroes that you don't want, turn them into powder and use that powder to get stuff in my community workshop. One key thing to mention is if you're going to get rid of a hero like Lamside or something but I don't know, any hero really. You can get rid of hero, check to see if you get hero references for you. Yeah? If you do, get it up to the highest that you can in evolution and then salvage it. Because for example, if you put a landslide in uh, just as he is, that will be 333 powder. If you put him in there uh, at Leo, so level 1 divine, he'll give you about 3000 powder. So there's a big difference. So I would recommend doing that. I've also got some videos on Alchemy Workshop, so I'd advise you to check them videos out if you want to learn more about it and what other things you can do with it and stuff like that. As I've explained a lot of that. Um, what else to do as a free to play? Well, make sure that in your guilds you host guild quests. Make sure to always do guild boss to get your guild quest tokens. And try and do guild clash when you can to be able to get the guild clash rewards. They can actually be decent. Uh, always watch for jewel win for videos to get yourself some jewels because that'll help you with your hires and everything. Uh, always a Trevi Fountain, all that stuff. All the stuff which you can get easy free resources, you do it, yeah? Hero trials, make sure that you always complete your hero trials battles. You want to do this, oh, I'm 16. Do this so that you can upgrade the enchantments of your heroes. Now, as a free to play, what should you be concentrating on in enchantments? Um, number one, in my opinion, is always get the HP up here. That one there. Always get it up because that will make a big difference to your hero's total HP. And as a free to play, you'll tend to have your heroes at less health as a pay to play and they'll do more damage, so you'll die easier. So you're going to want that extra health. And then the other thing to concentrate on is the attack and HP. Um, possibly damage reduction. But combustion or whatever ones there for your hero it depends on your hero really. They're also very important. Um, weapon wise, 
Then comes the weapons, the equipment, whatever you want to call them. What should you be concentrating on? You want to be concentrating on weapons that you can get fairly easily or free to play. So you need to know your boundaries with these ones as well as the heroes. Because you don't want to be trying to get a spear and leveling up from level 0 because they'll take you a long time and it's just not worth it. Um, as a free to play, in my opinion, you want to be saving up jewels. Seems like a lot of jewels, 60,000, but now it's not actually that bad. You can get that within about a month. Within about a month you can get that and then you get your weapons, yeah? And um, number one weapon to get is hammer. You want to try and get it for your Pemphysilia and then your van. Pemphysilia first. Um, so that you can increase the overall stats and attributes and then empower it to hopefully be able to sometimes get a second divine on it. So that would be great. Uh, fall on both Stormwider, Demonic Axe for enchantments in my opinion. Um, for x Fan and Pyro, I'm not sure. Agent of Spirits, of course, are very important for enlightenment. Collect them as much as you can. I don't personally buy heroes from here, but if you really need it, maybe. Evolution essences, um, these are very important to claim if you need to evolve your heroes. So, so um, is Enchantress. Is Enchantress, is it? And I was one guy, he's off Enchantress, isn't he? She should probably be in there next week, she probably will be. Um, Pen of Zully's not in there either. That'll be annoying, isn't it? Sure, will be in the next week. They're definitely in Lord's Gone Wild then. Always remember that there. There's that one. Um, New reasons, for example, claim the white rewards. Make sure to go for the white rewards. You can see me, I'm all about my resources. Rings, my unions, as you well. Next thing I'm going for that was more of a farm than empty. So, uh, next, what I'd pick on this one, for example. Straight, I'd go for that one, yeah. I'd go straight for the Agent of Spirits. It's rather if it's Fortune Spirits. So, uh, next, I'd probably go for the Chaos Ember. Actually, I'm not sure. I probably wouldn't. I'd probably go for the Mutagens. Then I'd go for that. Then I'd go for that. Then I'd probably go for that. It looks interesting. Then that one. Um, if you manage to get past that, which I doubt was a free to play. Um, number one thing you want to get is. You gotta decide between a costume and shooting star shards. So, and, um, if you think you won't be able to do anything with the shooting star at all, just go for the costume for your enchantments to get extra boosters to stats yeah. But if you're confident and you think that with that you can actually do something with it, go for it. So that's my opinion on that one. Um, what else is a free to play? Um, make sure to ask your leader what battle royal stage that you shouldn't be attacking so stopping on. Running on um, because you don't want to affect your guild mates chances. Make sure to claim all the rewards over me as that's very useful. Run on, um, trying to think of other things sorry guys. Oh yeah, thank them. Try to upgrade it as much as you can but make sure that you've got enough mutagens to evolve and enlighten your heroes. So don't go too much on it yeah. I just gradually I upgrade it whenever I've got mutagens handy to be able to do it. Always ruminate spots, so if you can, always ruminate them so that you've got them all open on your heroes, ready for whenever you do glyphs. Um, as a free to play, glyphs and masteries, I would say don't worry about them until you've got your heroes up to level 22 enlightenment or further. Yeah, I think getting them up to that is way more important than worrying about masteries and glyphs. You gotta put them in order, you can't do everything at once, otherwise it'll just overwhelm you and you won't be able to do it and you won't know what you're doing, yeah? Make a list, do it in order, yeah? So number one, get your hero, figure out what five heroes you're gonna get, yeah? Kind of that, yeah? Next, try and evolve more Pisces and enlighten them, yeah? Next, make sure that you get the weapons suitable for them heroes. If you want to know about Exophan and Pyreal weapon wise, um, I did make a video last year, put a lot of effort into it. Some other people helped me as well. I shouted them out in the video. Um, I have a video about the best equipment for all heroes, so definitely go jerk that one out. Um, if I mention equipment which you can't get from Secret Vault, try and find alternatives. Um, if you can't figure it out, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you can't ask there, just join the Discord server and ask me or another social media group. I would recommend Discord because I check in there more times a day. Yeah. So you'll get a pretty quick answer like that. Yeah, maybe not quite like that, but within a day, yeah. 
I check in there probably about 10 times a day, so I get that quickly. Um, I'm just trying to think, I want to cover everything which I should be covering. Uh, this is a how to free to play video. Um, base defense, should you worry about it? I wouldn't say so, I wouldn't say worry about your base defense. Um, worry about getting base defense heroes once you've got your main five sorted out, yeah? And your main five will do well enough for that anyway, you got a pen facility, that's good in base, storm rider is good in base, enchantments is always good and everything. Um, if you got Benny Vanna's side hero, she's good in base I think. Here's your she is, she can make your victory structures more powerful. There's an um, extra fan and pyreon, she'll probably will be decent. Things of Vanna's good as well I think. So you'll be safe with that one, yeah? I'm safe with that. Um, I'm just thinking what else should I mention? Um, I think I've covered everything, you know? Buildings, why should you worry about your buildings? Nah, don't worry about them. Just get the right buildings upgraded. Victory statues are part. Of course, if you need to get your town all maxed out, get that. Gold mines, gold vaults, town hall, that's just basic, yeah. Get that sorted out, get it maxed out, yeah. But when it comes to defences, victory statues are most important. Second is your reapers, then it's your um, guards, yeah. They're your most important. So uh, that's the basics of that one sorted out. Um, if you need to upgrade your alchemy workshop, I would recommend that you really go to town and try and get it upgraded, yeah. Don't get rid of heroes that you need, uh, only get rid of heroes that you can afford to lose. That's what I'm going to say on that one, yeah? So, um, but do try and get it maxed out as quick as possible so that you can get shards for Pyreal. Exavan and other heroes, yeah? You're going to want to do it for that. As I'm pretty sure all the heroes that I mentioned, you can get shards for all of them in here. Uh, it could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I might. And Jantra, so you got that one in there. Then, um Storm Rider in there, Pemphisilia in there, Exavan and Pyrel in there, so yeah I'm right, they are all in there. Um, I was going to tell you now, Exavan and Pyrel you're probably going to need to get shards in here for you. Pemphisilia, yeah you might need to get Pemphisilia from here. Storm Rider I doubt that you'll need to get from here, but if you do, just make sure to do it in the smallest amount that you need to possible, yeah. Um, and jump this, don't get shards from here, it's not worth it. But if you like really close on lightning or something and you just need a few more shards, yeah, do it, yeah. I understand that, but don't really go to town trying to get them on for it, yeah. And um, Renny Van, don't bother getting shards from here for you. You can get Renny Vans easy, no problem. And you're hearing it from me, and I can back it up to show how easy it is to get on. I've got a total of 28,546 Renny Van shards. I've got a lot of Renny Vans. <laughs> And my Venny fans here, full glory, level 22 enlightenment. And I've still got many jars spare, so yeah. Um, I think I've covered everything now. When it comes to the resources, of course, as I said, where you can get resources for free, do it. Where it's easy to get them, do it. Make sure that you do whatever you can to get as many resources as possible. Because that'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. So... Just to tear it down the basics, get as many resources as possible, that equals making it much easier for you to develop in the game, yeah? So that's my advice. I hope this video has helped quite a lot of you guys who are free to play. If you already knew all of this and you're quite a long time playing player, um, I hope it might have refreshed some things in your memory. If you think that I've forgot to mention a couple of things, please make sure to let me know by commenting down below so that other people can read it and see what I may have missed. As I want F1 to get as much information on it as possible. And of course, if you need to go more in depth in some of the stuff that I said, look at my channel, look at my free to play playlist, just look at all my videos, see what I've got, see if I've got videos I know about it. Um, or if you really need to know about something and you're not sure if I've got a video and you can't find it, please feel free to ask me. I might have it on the channel and you just can't find it. If I don't, I might have a look in the making. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was useful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that bell icon for more Flash Wars 2 content. For now, 
Peace out.